This is a video of my top five favorite fixed blade knives from my collection. The five categories I've chosen are one, Grail, two, Bushcrafter, three, Survival, four, Hunter, five, Overall. I couldn't narrow it down in some of the categories to just one fixed blade. I've, um, in a couple of the categories, I've got two knives that I, from my collection, um, I couldn't narrow them down. Fixed blades for me have been my, was my first passion. I, as far as knives go, um, I've always collected them since I was a young fella. Um, basically, is since I was about in my teenage years, I started buying, collecting fixed blade knives, and I've amassed a few over the years. Um, and these are the picks from of each in that category, in those categories, each for. My favourites. First up, the Grail. I really only had one Grail knife in for fixed blades for many years. When I first saw the Trailmaster, Cold Steel Trailmaster come out, I decided that that was, for me, simply one of the best fixed blade knives I could ever in, in vision and so for my 40th birthday I bought the Sand My 3 version of it and this is it, this is my grail it's magnificent I love I love it, it um, I haven't done very much cutting at all with it but I've, um, I've actually babied it a little bit it's been pretty much a safe queen for it's life. Um, it's just so damn pretty to look at, and it just gives me joy knowing that I have it. And um, I didn't really buy it to use it as such. Um, I will use it if it ever came to it, but um, yeah, I, I just um, I waited so long to buy it, and then when I did get it, um, it just as I said, it gives me pleasure to own. Um, and it's an iconic knife, and I love it. Everything about it. As I said, it's my, it was one of my grails. I do have one more grail now for a fixed blade knife, and that's for my up and coming fiftieth birthday. And I am um, I'm going to get a custom eight inch camp knife made for it, and that will be my other grail that basically will will be in this slot but um I, I i don't know i just i really like this knife and um the the camp knife i always wanted one so i am um, i've commissioned to get get it a custom made one done to my specifications so that's my grail Bushcrafter, I've got two. My recently purchased Raven, custom made Raven. It's um, it's quickly become my one of my favourite smaller knives. It um, it's it's really good. I really like it, and it's it's a beautiful example. It has everything that I needed in a Bushcrafter. But before I bought it, this was my preferred bushcrafting knife. Not that I honestly do a lot of bushcrafting. Um, I I like it, but uh, it's just it's not. I, I tend to go hunting more than bushcrafting as such. But um, yeah, I, this is the um, Mora Bushcrafter 2010 version. And it, it it's a really good bushcrafting knife for the little bushcrafting that I've I'd, I'd done with it. Um, this is the stainless steel version, but it's got the compound grind, scandy grind, but with the compound. And the really nice handles. They, this, the bushcrafter handle is excellent. It's sticky and fits my hand really well. Right. And 
then I got the got it. Um, when I bought the Raven, it overtook the the that one as my bushcrafter. But yeah, I'm still so I've had two in that in that category. Survival knife. This is my favourite survival knife. Tops Power Eagle. It's a beast. And I've used it extensively. It's one of the best choppers I've ever ever found. That flat grind, it's a quarter inch thick spine and the flat grind, um just it's very thin behind the edge here and it just chops unbelievably i've put so many knife tried to out chop with so many knives up compared to this one and um this one always performs better i did find that the condor um village parang almost well, equaled it but yeah um this is my go-to knife for my survival knife um it just has everything that you need in a big chopper. You can do anything with it. And because it's such a big knife, I did put this on the sheath here. Fork even WM1. That's attached to the sheath. that's I've made that up as basically I've added a lot of stuff to the sheath paracord matches everything there's, there's even con water container there um, it's got everything on it I could grab that and take it out and that's it that's all you need really as far as I can see it's one-stop option basically For the hunter category, out of my collection, anyone who knows me <laughs> would know this was coming up. This was really a, a grail too, but um, yeah, not as much as my Power Eagle. Ah, uh, my Trial Master. This is the Cold Steel Outdoorsman San Mai 3 version. I've only just recently bought it, and this will be my go-to hunting knife now. It, um, I've always wanted one. And Cleavers had them on special a little while ago for two hundred dollars, and I just couldn't pass it up. It's um, it's everything I wanted in a in a hunting knife. Um, it's really works really well. Um, the hollow grind, slicey. Um, yeah, just the little cutting I've done with it. It um works really well as as my hunting knife. Overall, out of my collection, if I had to pick two knives, and I couldn't, I couldn't really go between the Power Eagle and the Trail Master. They, um, those two, they're really, they do everything I want. I'm, I, I like big knives, and these two epitomise exactly what I like in a knife. Um, the Trailmaster, the only reason I really picked the, the Power, Power Eagle out of it is because it's a user where I don't really use the Trailmaster that much. Um, yeah, as I said, I, I, I babied it a bit. But if it ever came down to having to use it, I, I wouldn't shy away from it. I know it's entirely capable of performing it as a nine and a half inch slab of sand my wood but yeah it's um between that and the power eagle it's my favorites overall out of my collection they both serve very well They're both very good knives for the money and that's it from my collection my top five with a bit of a twist anyway thanks for watching